Hi Scrappy Friends, Iris here and I am sharing with you in this video my organization of washi, twine, and felt. Now I've done a couple of other videos that posted with this one. So if you've watched the first one which was about me tidying up the room and the second one was about punches and uh, scrap paper then you've seen me do an intro like this three times in a row. <laughs> um, but go back to the tidy room one because I did a longer intro that um, talked about what I've been doing as far as organization and what kinds of videos are coming up. So if you're interested in more of that, keep an eye out for further videos and I will see you next time. I am going to tackle these two top drawers from my Alex cart that hold washi. So I had a glimpse of this in my old scrap room um, and they were fairly organized. I have these dividers that are really awesome from the container store. I'm going to take this out because I'll be wearing everything out anyway. Um, and they come in several different sizes and I divided this up so you can see there's a few small ones here as well and I had this drawer full of washi and then this one is half washi half twine so um, obviously I my drawers overflow and um, my kids like to use washi quite often so sometimes they end up um, kind of messing things up a little bit they don't put them right in the same spot sometimes my washi is not all lined up the same way and then with the move none of this got actually emptied out we actually just moved them as is and just got it wrapped up and obviously during the move, everything tumbled around. So that's what these two drawers look like now. Okay, while you watch me here organizing, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, why I chose these dividers and um, how much they store. So these dividers are from the container store. They're called Clear and White Drawer Organizer Trays. And they also come in clear and aqua, which are awesome. And I do have organizing uh, drawers in other areas of my house, but I thought for my crafty stuff because I like the colors I want to see them true and uh, I chose the white ones and I ended up organizing one drawer is basically by color so that's what I'm doing right here these organizers the ones that you see right here are the they are the medium size they are 10 and 3 eighths by three and a half measurement, and they held between 26 to 30 washi, depending on what the sizes are. Because sometimes I have, you know, I have some thinner ones, and I also have some really small ones versus bigger ones. And uh, I end up having one for pinks and oranges, one for yellows and tan slash browns. So right here, I started off doing the greens and yellows and quickly realized I have too much green <laughs> to do that with. Uh, the third one has green and a couple of strips or a couple of rolls that have like aqua and green together in their design. The fourth one has all my aquas. It's one of the most popular colors currently and also one of my favorites. I say green is my favorite color, but I ended, I ended up doing a lot of aquas and blues in my scrapbooking. Uh, then I had another one that held all my kind of truer blue, darker blues, and gray. One of these held, is going to be holding all my black and whites. And then there, so if you put these this size, the medium size, in an Alex drawer, it holds six of them and on the side of the drawer there's space to put some more washi so these mediums like I said hold 26 to 30 washi and then along the side of them I was able to fit 
11 more washi. Now, I chose this system for a couple of reasons. One, I have a lot of washi, so it'd be cute to display them in a little bowl or in a little basket on my desk. Or, you know, I love the look of washi on rings, but let's be real, I just have way too much washi. And the other thing about things like rings is I, I really don't like having to, like if you're looking for a particular one and it's sort of in the middle, you have to pull all the other ones off first before you can get to the washi. I don't like doing that. And that's the other reason why I chose to organize them in a drawer and divide them up, in this case, mostly by color. I can go open the drawer, scan, find, and just pull out the one I want. So here I am getting down to the blues and grays there. The other thing I wanted to say about these is that there is a, the, okay, here we are at the top of the screen or in the middle there, that's the small, the extra small size of these containers. And those are, let me find my notes. They are three and three eighths by five inches. And they hold about 10 washi. So uh, that's what that is. And I think I'm getting towards the end of my color organized drawer here. There's some black and whites. The, so six of them fit. And like I said, there's a, there's a side, one side, there's enough space that you can put uh, 11, well, I got 11 washi in. And I they did end up being the like more black and whites that you see still on the desk there. Those uh, right now I'm putting into that, that corner. And you'll see this in my after video that'll be coming up. Now, as you can tell, I have several of those extra small containers. I am here using medium sized containers. So those are 10 and 3 eighths by three and a half. Oh, I'm sorry, those are the small containers and they are five and three sixteenths by seven and an eighths. So I'm using them to hold my flat strips of washi and a couple of these, like those Ali Edward ones, they're just a little too big. So I'm just trimming around the corners and I do that often with sticker sheets that don't fit in something that I want to fit them in. I'll just trim the 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 edges off and then I, I did cut the top braining strip but what I did was I glued it to the back. Here you see me gluing one there and then folding it over. That's a washi uh, booklet that uh, was from Kelly Perky that someone generously gave me because it was that one thing that got away when it was actually around. All right so here I'm back to the what well, I'm finally doing those extra smalls and uh, like I said, those hold about 10 washi. And here I'm doing it by theme. So uh, top left, you see some grid and ledger types. Uh, somewhere in the middle top there are things that are basically rainbow colored. Here I am dividing some gold up, which end up actually organizing a little differently. So for me, it was just trial and error in organizing. As you've been watching, uh, it just... Um, with the colors I did try to do from light to dark and here I'm just doing by theme and I'm just about done. Oh those flat strips I just stuck in the back. So here's how my washi turned out. I still have two drawers in the Alex drawers but since I took the twine out of one of these I was able to spread it out more and um, I think I consolidated these there were two so I consolidated that into one and I do have a little bit of space not that I need any more washi in the back I have some long and this might even be vellum rather than washi but I just put it there and a fabric from um, Studio Calico. I know I have a few more of those, but they're somewhere else I can't find them. So I organized anything that was kind of rainbow here, and these are sort of like icons and some arrows. 
this bunch is kind of weather related and a few that are more like, I don't know what you call it, patriotic. These are all ledger or grid, sorry, grid type. Well, this is one, this one is ledger. And um, I just have, those are a couple of just new ones. There's no real theme. These are all Christmas or gold. This one's gold. I think this one should be here. These are really old junkets. I think that's junkets. Um, they're actually like an acetate tape. Not tape, but you know, they're like washi, but they're just clear acetate. And then um, in here, we have the main bulk of them, and they're all in rainbow order. These are more black and whites, and then more there. So that's how my washi turned out. And I'm really happy with it, and it makes it a lot easier to grab what I need. Hopefully I will be using some of these up, right? <laughs> okay, see you later. These are the two drawers that I'm just about to do. And this is how it was in my old room. This bank of drawers was just, you know, they just tipped it over and brought it as is. And then the other drawer is this one. Now this twine was with my washi, but uh, if you look at the video tour that I did before we moved, my old scrap room, and then the other tour where I just showed the setup of this new room, I got more drawers and so now I'm able to divide things up. And what I'm going to use to organize are these trays. So these are from Ikea and they are meant for the Alex drawers. They are called, I don't know how to pronounce the word, <laughs> but it's that Varira, Varira, Uh, that's as much as I'm going to try. <laughs> so these are in the kitchen area. They probably are meant for cutlery. And I have seen people on YouTube use them to organize in craft rooms and um, makeup. I saw some videos where people use them to organize their makeup. So they fit perfectly in the drawers. They're going to slip in. So I'm just going to go ahead and sit in do the organization on my desk, and then I should be able to slip them in. So I will put you on fast forward. Alrighty, so here we are doing the twine, and I have speedy hands because I've sped this up about 10 times as fast. If only in real life you could do that, right? <laughs> Each of these cubbies I'm going to end up doing in colors. So here I have these old-fashioned clothespin type which are really, really adorable, and I considered keeping them all together, but in the end, color went out. And I do have a couple other sizes, these really bulk twine long ones, and then I have uh, these smaller spools, and, and they're all really cute, and at one point I did have them just sort of displayed in little bowls, but I feel that this way, just being able to see all the colors when you open the drawer works best for me. I have these crochet threads. They are Martha Stewart. I believe I got them on like super clearance. I don't know what I'm saving them for, but I am saving them. I really love the colorways on them. Now moving on to felt. Some of these are, the smaller ones are paper tray ink, which I've got for a long time. I love the feel of them. And then the longer ones are W plus nine that I got more recently. But those paper tray ink ones are just smooth as butter and they cut really nicely. And finally, I have some die cut felt that I've had for ages and ages and I'm keeping them because I figure everything else has been coming back. Die cut felt was probably coming back too. So here is the end result of doing those two drawers. I've got my twine in here. 
and um, some little felt cutouts that are extremely old. <laughs> I just don't want to get rid of them just in case I decide to use them. Everything seems to be coming back, so I'm sure felt cutouts will be coming back anytime soon. Um, and then uh, there's plenty of room if I end up getting any more twine, not that I need it. And then here's the felt, and for now I'm leaving these two drawers right there. They might change positions. I like having this one in the deeper one because I do have flat pieces of felt, so I might transfer them over here on top. Not sure yet, but this is how it looks now, and I'm pretty happy with that. 